Yep, my name's Terry McFarlane and um, with my wife Maxine and I we farm 250 hectares of irrigation country 15 kilometres east of Griffith in the Murrumbidgee irrigation area. We grow summer crop where we're growing sunflower, sorghum, for seed crops and uh, soybeans for vita soy for, for milk, a ver variety of seed vegetable crops and winter where faba beans, canola, wheat, hopefully for seed but if not some commercial varieties in there too. About four years ago on the back of seven or eight years of drought we, we looked improving our water use efficiency and we went to a 500 metre wide concrete fed lateral move irrigator with the view of using, uh, get, getting more yield per megalitre. That's work, worked quite well uh, since we sort of ticked off on the dotted line, the energy costs have gone up so we're very, very uh, conscious of using it now. Uh, we still find it's, it, it's really efficient at growing a good crop but we're, we're sort of weighing it off with energy costs so we tend not to, at the moment we're just experimenting, not, we're using it at the start of uh, a summer crop and probably at the end of a summer crop for establishment reasons, great way to establish crops, great way to finish a crop off without giving it a full irrigation if necessary but during the growing season we're flicking back up to, off to, uh, back to siphon irrigation, far irrigation. The main benefit is um, evenness of distribution of water and not having soils, for instance we have some of this field that's not subbing as well as other areas. That's with the fire irrigation. So with the overhead irrigation system, it's, it's just evenly distributed. It's just like a rain event and we get very even crop. You know, if we use it for the entire season, we get a, a very even crop all the way through. Yeah, yeah. We use it for establishment, got a perfect establishment. Really a, a, a great advantage I see with the two, is with, for instance, cereals is top uh, and canola. Um, top dressing it and uh, then hitting it with 25 mils of rain just to take that nitrogen into the, so into the root zone. Well, often when we're top dressing cereals and canola where you're looking for a rain event to take that in. And if it's during the, the part of the year where you're not irrigating, we can, during the irrigation season, we can water run our uh, nitrogen requirements and through the siphons and, and it'll distribute into the root zone. But when the irrigation season's down, and you're not irrigating, and you're trying to get nitrogen into your crops, you need a, a way of getting it in, and, and that's what we find great for just putting 20 mils of rain over an, uh, a urea application. Okay. The lateral irrigator we installed is, it's a little unique as far as we know. It's probably the only one around, certainly in this area, that concrete channel fed. It's a, the channel is only one metre wide and about 600 mil deep and it supplies six megs a day to the irrigator. Most people would use a large open channel fed system and, and have a suction in that, but because we're quite landlocked and we want to be able to pivot that machine over to the other side to do the adjoining field, we've gone to a concrete channel. So it uh, hasn't taken up much land, it just cost a lot for the concrete. <laughs> for the wheat, soybean rotation only just works because of the timeliness of the importance of the timeliness of sowing every crop but soybeans I'd like to have them in that first week of December uh, so wheat only just makes makes it there having the wheat off and being able to get back on and plant the soybean crop okay. and the trouble with um, doing it post a wheat crop is if you try and go in there and drill fertiliser down you, because the ground's so dry unless you irrigate it you're coming up with um, yeah, creating a, a very poor seedbed situation, you know, coming up with you know, big clods and stuff, so then you've got to try and pan them down. So we're finding pre-planting it prior to the wheat has worked. The soybean crop seems to be um, accessing the, uh, the fertiliser we put down underneath its plant line. Okay. The wheat may have taken some, but it doesn't appear to have. Yeah, the crop looks healthy.